Hello? Yes, sir, we can hear you. Okay. So today we'll start. I'm sharing my screen. So here, uh, today we'll start uh, this instance initialization block. So which means like non-static block, non-static variables and all. How we will declare and how we will call the constructors and all. So the first sections have this is uh, non-static variables we can say or non-static field. So here we have a section 3 app 1. So in section 3 app 1 have a class A. So this class A inside int i is there. But before that there is no static keyword is there. So if no static keyword means this is instant keyword or we can say non-static field. So non-static field if you want to use directly we can't use because either either just a minute hmm, bol. Ha, bola na. Rahul ke Stall <laughs> 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 Yeah, so here uh, this class A inside this int i is there. So this is non-static field. So directly we can't access this inside the main method because non-static is there, but this is not a defined. The value is not a defined for the i. So if not a defined, then we by default won't be there because this is non-static. So non-static value should be there. Either we need to create an object and based on the reference we have to call. So if if we are using the main method inside the main method system dot out dot print and i so i value cannot make a static reference because this is non static field. So most of the time we use non static inside this static. So this will get a compile time error. Why? Because this is non static and we are using inside this static. So you will get this error. A static reference to non static reference cannot make so always either we have to declare a value for this i or we have to create an object and based on the reference we need to call so once you will call based on the reference so that by default value it will be considered so if we will run this program you will get a compile time error the same error which is showing here the next program which is b class b inside the package section 3 f1 b then we have a non static method is there this is non static method because a static is not mentioned here so this is non static and inside that after that we have a main method so inside the main method we are calling this test method so while calling this test method directly we can't call because this is non static test method so directly we can not use non static test method inside this static method so if you use this then you will get this error cannot make a static reference to the non static method test 
form this type b type b is a class and this hello world is there so you will get a compile time error here also so in the next the question is how we can use the non static method non static variables we will see here late in the next program this is the class c here we have a integer i so the integer i is a non static and this is not a defined non static should always define if not defined then based on the class object reference we can use if you will use directly then you will get a compile time error why because cannot make a static reference to non static field of i so this is non static we can't use inside this static test so this is a static test after that this class d is there class d have non static test method this is non static test method inside this sop is there and others again we have a non static test method and sorry this is a static test method and inside that we are calling this test method so again the same error will happen because instead of main method we are creating a static test method two and inside that we are calling this test method one so non static test method directly we cannot access in this static test method so you will get the same error the class e have a non static input i and this is a static so again this a static block is there this is a static block so when to use block what is a static block what is a method so method should be like a open close uh this this way will be there but here this is a static block so once a static has there and open curly braces and close curly braces and there some statement is there look like this is a block so a static block so directly we can't access non static variable to the static block so you'll get this error same cannot make a static reference to non static field i so like that in this is class f we have a non static test method void type and this is a static test method so again we are using a static test method inside that sorry this is a static block so the inside this static block we are using non static test method so you will get a same this so cannot make a static reference to non static method test from type f f is the class here then we have a class g inside this non static int i is there then we have a main method so compiler will go for the main first and here see how we can call non static to a static so this is the way either you have to declare some value here or because by default value will not be there inside this non static or else if you want to call in the static then you have to mention this based on the class name so you need to create a object so g is a class name so how you will create a object class name dot reference name reference name can be anything so class name dot reference name equal to new g so that new uh, class name whatever we declared whatever the class name was there and then new g method so like this this way we can create a object always the name should be the same as a class name then reference can be anything and new g method with a class name so once you created then object uh, then based on the reference we can call this value so once you will call so g dot i if you are calling g dot i then default value will be taken so g dot i if you will run this program then the output will be zero because it is not a defined integer i is not a defined but I, I still we are getting zero why because while we are creating a object and based on the reference we are calling this uh variable integer i then it should be behave like a static after creating the object and calling with this reference dot i then this should be behave like a, this is static value so by default it will take a zero like that same this is a class inside the class what we seen non static test method directly we cannot access in this static method so how you will access so create a object so how we will create create a class so class h is there 
based on the class we have to create an object so h h1 is a reference then new h so the h1 dot test what we are doing based on the reference dot the method name variable name you have to call so once you will call then this will be behave this test method will behave now a static test method why because you are taking as a reference so this reference dot test means h reference dot test means this class h class have h1 reference and they have some non static test method so based on the reference we are calling dot test method so this will be behave and after that there is a blank nothing is there so once you will run this program only sop will print because compiler will go for the main method in main method this test method will execute but nothing is there this is blank nothing is there and void type return type is also void so this sop will print like a hello world okay so now we will go for this i so here i we have non static variable this is a static test so this is a static test method now what we are doing we are creating a object of i i any of reference variable sorry any of reference for this i and then new i new i so i i just a minute so i uh, rv rv is there reference dot x so this reference dot x so based on the reference we are calling this x and default value will be taken as a integer type so integer type default value will be the zero here <coughs> why we are not getting the output because this is a static void test we don't have main method so while in java 8 or java 7 onwards main method should be there without main method we can't run the program either we have a static or so compiler will check the main method so main method is not there but for if you will print this value sop of rv dot x so for that x is an integer type so by default value is 0 because we are calling with this reference so once you will create our f object and taking as a reference dot x value of non static then default value will be printed so the output will be 0 but here we are not getting because of main method is not available compiler will check first main method first from java 7 onwards but java 8 onwards compiler once the classes will load a static will be loaded a static method will be loaded and inside that static method whatever will be there that will be print main method is not required but java 7 java 8 and uh, after the any type of version of java 8 main method is mandatory So in this program there is no issue everything is fine if you will run from before this java 8 it worked and output will be the 0 if you are running from java 8 onward so main method you need to declare and there you have to call this statement. The same way we have a class j inside that test 1 is there non static test method and then a static test method now what we are doing a static test method we need to call non static test method so all this program whatever we seen here um, for that program only we are doing this object creations and all and based on that we are taking so this is test and all So now we have a non static test method and a static test method. So a static test method if you want to call non static then you have to create an object. So object we have to create from the class. So class is J. So J and reference anything you can take either A, B, C, D, X, 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 L, M, N, O, P. So uh, the class is J and of reference is anything whatever and then based on the new keyword you have to create what's the class name of method. So J object new j so, um, then based on the reference we have to call non static test method here inside this static so once you will run this program then 
compiler will go here and this will be printed this tell test one will be executed test one will call here form test will be printed and then form test two will be printed but this is from java 7 before java 7 because java 8 onward there is no error will come why because of program terminated because main method is not available if main method will be available then this form test then form test 2 will be the output and if you will run before java 7 like java 6 java 4 5 then you will get the same output so the class k we have int i static this is a static um, block is there this is a static block because a static and after that open close braces inside that some statement is there so this is a static block so inside this static block if you want to call non-static variables then what you have to do create a object with the class name so class name is class name is k so k k1 equal to new k so like that you have to create an object and based on the reference we have to call this non-static variable so once you will call this non-static variable so default value will be printed but this also will not run because of main method is not available understand can anyone confirm are you able to hear me or understanding this all concept hello have you any doubt regarding this or static non static call how we are calling how we are creating object how we are calling a static variable to non static how we are calling a static method a static block non static method non static block Are you able to hear me? Yes, so much. You are good. Okay. So till now we covered this uh, uh, A B C D E F G H I J K L. Till K we completed. So here only we consider like how non-static variable will be created, how a static variable will be created how non static block how non -stat static block how non static method how non static uh, static method and how we can call from non static to a static or a static to non static method block or variables and how if if we are calling any non static variables or method or block inside this static then how we will call so we need to create an object first and then based on the reference we have to call and if main method will not be there then there is no errors before java 6 and if but we you will not be able to run after java 7 onwards because main method is required from 7 onwards but if you want to run this same program in before 7 or uh, 6 version then you will get a error so you will get a output for this because directly we are calling when the compiler will call the class then class loading all the static will be loaded so if you have a static block or a static method that will be loaded and whatever the statement is there that will be executed so in this case once the classes will load this static block will be loaded and once the static block will be loaded this this k based on the k reference k dot i value will be printed so with default value will be zero here so if you run this program to java 6 then output will be zero if you run this program from java 7 onwards then there is no output because this program is terminated because of main method is not available so here class l class l have non-static method and we have a static block so this is a static block and this is non static method so a static block what we are doing we are calling we are creating this new in a static block we are creating the object so how we can create an object l based on the class name so l reference name can anything l l1 equal to new l with the class new l so this object has created but they are not 
calling any test method so based on the reference we can call this test method also like how we will call here l1 dot test so this we can call but here also no main method is there this is m class m is the class and inside that int i is the instance variable or non static variable now here main method is there so directly we cannot access this directly we cannot access this i so what why because of this is non static and if you want to access this non static to a static method so how we will first we have to create a object so once you created the object with that m is a class name m reference can be anything and then new m with a class name method so this based on the reference we can call this non static instance variable so this i so here what will happen the default value will print after that what we are doing based on the reference name we are def redefining those variables value so m dot i equal to 10 again we are printing m dot i so what will be the current value that will be reinitialized with latest value of i so if we we'll print this one uh, so the output will be 0 and 10 same way we will go for this next n program so here int i equal to uh, instance variable or non static variable then main method is there main method we have created object so someone will ask like why we are creating the object how what is the use of that so mostly we are calling from the static inside this static we need to call non static method block variables and all so in that cases mostly we used so here what we are doing creating an object of n and then based on the n we are calling this reference of i so again we are creating new object so many times we can create an object n number of times we can create an object for the single class so again they created one more object n and the reference should be unique so here n1 is there so here we have created n2 so n2 n2 dot new n and again they are taking based on the reference they are calling non static i so both have default value at zero after that they are reinitializing this value of n1 reference i and n2 reference is 20 n1 reference of i is 10 n2 reference of i is 20 so that latest value of n1 reference of i is 10 and n2 reference of i will be 20 so if we we'll print this or run this so what will happen the first two n1 dot i n2 dot i is 0 because default value will be taken and after that they reinitialize with n1 dot i because of n1 is the this reference and to form this other object reference second object reference so this two so based on the reference we need to call this instance variable and whatever the initialized value will be there that will be printed after that we have a class so we have a non static variable main method then we create an object o o1 equal to new o and again what we are doing see here in line number 9 what we are doing o o2 equal to again we are creating different object like second object so in a single class we can create multiple object but reference should be unique so o o1 equal to new o1 is the first object creation second is o o2 equal to here without new keyword we are creating second object how based on this sec first reference so whatever the first reference is there o o1 so based on the first reference we are creating a second object so the second object with the class name o o2 equal to o1 o1 means o new o1 new o this this object we have taking here in o2 also 
now what we are doing o1 dot i equal to 10 means reinitialized o1 dot i value is 10 so if you will print o2 dot i here here we are printing o2 dot i and then again we are defining o2 dot i equal to 20 and what we are doing here o1 dot i we are printing so can anyone tell me what will be the correct output for this O1 equal to new O then again we create a new object O02 equal to new O1 based on the first reference now we redefine with O1 dot I equal to 20 and O2 dot I equal to 20 O1 dot I equal to 10 and O2 dot I equal to 20 now we are printing SOP of O2 dot I and O1 dot I so if we will run this program so see here o2 dot i is 10 and o1 uh, o1 dot i equal to 20 how because can anyone tell me why o2 dot i equal to 10 and o1 dot i equal to 20 any idea because of see here what we are doing o o1 equal to new o and o o2 equal to this is second object is o1 and after that o1 value is o1 dot i is 10 means this value is 10 so whatever the value from this o1 the same value will be printed in o2 because o2 also taking from o1 only so o2 also taking from o1 so the current value is o1 is o1 dot i is 10 so o2 dot i also will be the 10 so this will be printed o2 dot i now o2 dot i equal to 20 means o2 dot i this o2 is a dot i equal to 20 correct so o2 dot right now o2 value is 20 o2 dot i equal to 20 has reinitialized and what we are doing o1 dot i we are printing so o2 dot i equal to o1 these two will be equals so that o1 dot i has reinitialized with o2 dot i so if you will print o1 dot i so whatever the o2 dot i value is there 20 the same will have a o1 dot i also because both are equal so o1 dot i equal to 20 will be printed that is reinitialized so that way we have calling or changing this object based on the reference or we are redefining others object to existing object based on the reference so this these two concept you have to check how this call is happening how we created uh, one object to another object or based on the other object reference The next program is uh, in class P int i is an instance variable or non-static then we have a static test method that is void type operator and inside that static test method have argument argument is P object so this is the test method and main method is also there so compiler will go for the main method first inside this main method we have object created already p p1 equal to new p why because i need to access this i so i is non-static so how you will call p1 dot i so sop main and then p1 dot i so this will be printed uh, default value of i equal to 0 now again they redefine p1 dot i equal to 10 
okay so here they are calling some test method so test method is available on top line number six and they are passing p1 so p1 dot i is 10 so p1 after that this will go for this this method a static void test p so this is some object type so this p have some object so what type of object p1 object is there so this will go for this p1 and then here what will happen p1 so this ob obj dot i so obj is which type p1 type p1 is what type of p1 is this reference so class p have a one reference class p object have references p1 so this object will behave like a p1 so here p1 dot i means same like a class p so based on the reference we can call so once you will run this program the output will be main as 0 and 10 why because of this is the default value will take and here p1 dot i has redefined so p1 dot i has redefined with 10 and what we are doing we are calling p1 so the current p1 value is 10 right now because redefined and then same p1 we are calling here as a object and then object dot i equal to 10 will be printed test dot 10 like that we have a multiple scroll will happen from this how object we are calling what are the ways for how we can uh, reassign based on this uh, reference and all so these all are the concept will be considered from q r s t u v w x so here uh, we have a we have a non static uh, non static variable and then main method inside the main method we call q q we created a q object so this q1 so q1 dot i equal to 10 we redefine this q1 dot i equal to 10 now what we are doing again we created one others object q based on the class name q and then reference would be unique so q t and then here what we are doing we are taking as a q1 reference from the other object now again we are printing the same q2 we already discussed before so q2 dot i so what will be the q2 dot i value because q1 dot i is 20 10 here so 10 will be coming here q1 value now q2 dot i so q2 dot i will also same we'll see and again what they are doing q2 dot i equal to 20 again and after that again they created one more object that is q q3 equal to q2 so they are taking from the q2 and then they are printing q3 this reference q3 dot i and then q1 dot i because q2 here they printed so if you will run this program then see 10 20 and 20 how because for this 10 already q1 dot i was 10 so this has initialized q1 value is 10 so q2 dot i also will be 10 because q1 equal to q2 so q2 equal to q1 so q2 dot i will be 10 after that q2 dot i equal to 20 then q3 dot i uh, q q3 dot q2 so the q2 value is q2 dot i is 20 so q3 dot i will be 20 because same q3 equal to qt is there so q3 dot i equal to 20 now now we have a q1 so q1 dot i so right now the current value of q2 is 20 so q2 is 20 so this q2 is 20 has redefined right now so q2 is 20 and q2 equal to q1 is there so if the current value is q2 is 20 then q1 also should be 20 here so if you will run q2 dot q1 dot i then 20 will be initialized reinitialize so this way we can calculate the output and how we can interchange this object based on the reference how we will uh, value will be reflected based on the reference and all. we can see here now this is a r class r 
inside this class R we have non-static variable and a static void test method. So this void test method have a some reference that is object type. And then based on this object dot i they are defining some 20. We'll see. So this is R type of object. So class is the R based on this object is related for this class. We'll see after that. So after that compiler will call main method. So this main method have R R1 equal to new R object has created. Now they are taking the reference R1 dot I equal to 10. So whatever this value was there, so r1 dot i they re initialized. So r1 dot i equal to 10. Now what they are printing r1 dot i. So the trend will be printed. Now they are calling some test method. Yeah, test method is available in line number 6. So if test method is available, then r1 they are passing some argument. So already line number 6 test method need one argument. What type of argument? R class of object, some object related argument. So they are passing R here, some object related argument is R1 because this is R1. So R1 has passed. So R1 will behave here as an object. Now what will happen? Object dot I equal to 20. So this is 20. And now again they are printing R1 dot I. So what will be the output? If you run this program, what will happen? 10 and 20 will be printed. The first is r1.i was 10. So this same r1.i is 10 is printed. Now you call test method. So this test method is r1 time. So right now r1 value is 10, but this will go from this here. So r1 as a r1 will behave like object now. So this object dot i equal to 20. So that is reinitialized, but they are not doing this is void type. So we are not returning any value. Just we has reinitialized this obj dot i equal to 20. So obj will behave like r1. R1. So now what we are doing? R1 dot i. So the latest value of r1 dot i is 20. So the 10 and 20 will be the output. The same way we can practice or uh, you can practice these all because once you will practice then you can clear like how we will call the object, what are the ways we can call the object, what are the ways we can create a reference or we can use the reference based on the static, non-static and all. So this is a i int i static void test, test 1 and test 2 both are a static type test 1 and test 2 so test 1 has integer type of x and test 2 have s s1 is a sum reference so s is a class there have a sum reference s1 so here integer x equal to 10 is there and s1 reference so s1 dot i equal to 20 is there so now we compiler will go for the main method so main method created object s s1 equal to new s now s1 dot i equal to 30 means this rain is slice with 30 so s1 dot i is 30 so once you will print here s1 dot i the 30 will be printed after that class this is a test method so test 1 is available yes available line number 6 test 1 is there test 1 have one uh, argument is there or not yes some argument is there that is integer type of x so yeah so s1 dot i will behave this argument as an integer type of x now the current value of s1 dot i equal to 30 here so the same will come here and this is a 30 here so int x will be 30 here because this s1 dot i now what they are doing x value equal to 10 so that will be redefined with x equal to 10 so whatever the 30 value was there so that has printed with 30 10 now what we are doing printing this s1 dot i and then again what we have 20 so if you will run this program so 30 30 and 20 
सो थर्टी थर्टी एंड ट्वेंटी या इफ यूल रन दिस प्रोग्राम सो वाट विल हैपन सो एस वन डॉट आई इज थर्टी सो दिस विल बी प्रिंटेड एंड देन हेयर टेस्ट टू एस वन डॉट आई इज थर्टी हेयर एंड दैट विल वेंट हेयर एज अ एक्स वैल्यू इज थर्टी एंड एक्स हैज रीडिफाइन विथ टेन बट वाट वी आर डूइंग हेयर बी एस ओ पी ऑफ बी एस वन डॉट आई वी आर प्रिंटिंग सो द एस वन डॉट आई एस स्टिल हैव अ थर्टी now again it will go for the test two method test two method available yes available then they have a sum s s1 equal to their argument so the test two also have a same s1 argument so now s1 argument have 30 right now so the 30 came here now they are reinitializing with s1 dot i so this s1 dot i equal to 20 so if you'll call this c s1 dot i so this will be redefined with 30 to 20 so first two is 30 and second will be the 20 so like that we have a uh, same uh, this program class t have non static then a static test method and then in a static test method we have object created and then ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएटेड एंड देन वी आर रिटर्निंग सम टी वन दिस रेफरेंस सो रेफरेंस वी आर रिटर्निंग बिकॉज वाई बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट अ वाइड टाइप दिस इज सम टी टाइप ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएटेड सो दिस शुड हैव सम रिटर्न सो टी टी इज अ सम क्लास सो बेस्ट ऑन द क्लास सो दिस शुड बी हैव सम रिटर्न टाइप दिस इज नॉट अ वाइड टेस्ट मैथड so this object has created t1 and they are returning t1 reference so based on the class they created a st object and based on the reference of that class they are returning inside this static test method now we have a main method so in main method what we are doing we are doing we are creating a t dot object so inside this t dot object so just we are calling this object inside this main method we are trying to create a object so create a t based on the reference as a obj and instead of new keyword to create a object we are calling here test method so the compiler will check test method is there yeah static test method is available here so uh, yeah test method is available and this is related for static okay so that will it will go for here and then here they are creating a ob object of class so t t1 equal to new t and they are returning t1 so this this object t object equal to the test have return t1 so this t1 have inside this line number 13 and if you will print obj dot i so this obj dot i will be the default value of i because the object has created and based on the reference we are using so this way also we can create a object in just based on the refer we are calling this test method and test method having created object and they are returning some reference and based on the reference based on this reference we will call this value so the same way we have a class u in, in non static variable then a static uh, test method a static method so a static methods have a return type of u so it should be some return type this is u type not a void type so main method have uh, u object equal to test so instead of object creation they are calling this test so test so this static test method will call now here they are creating a object so u u equal to new u so based on the reference u dot i equal to 20 has reinitialized and then we are taking as a reference of u1 so u1 value is 
so now 20 so 20 to obj dot i obj value also should be the 20 because obj dot i if you print so the output will be the 20 here the difference is class v inside non-static variable static test so this is not a void type this is some v type so this should have a return and we have a main method so main method based on the class object we are creating b v1 equal to test method they call so this they will check the test method available yes test method available and after that this should return something because this is not a void this is type of v so b is a class so here what will be happening this some error is there syntax error on token new class type accepted after this token so here what is the error because we are doing in return a new but return should have some value so if we'll go for this so see return should have a some reference some value or something based on the reference whatever value has re defined or defined that will be taken but in this program they have made return new so this is a new method is there so this will be checked like uh, the compiler will see the error like uh, this is unexpected like class type expected after this token so syntax error is there this is not a correct some syntax error is there what is new why we defined it return type should be some value or some based on the reference value they will take so you will get a compile time error here and then class w so inside this static method is there but this static methods have w type not a white type so some returns will be there and this test method have a argument so this argument is w1 so while we created object uh, so once we create a class then main method will be there compiler will call main method first so main method w obj equal to new w here obj dot i means this obj dot i equal to 20 so obj or 20 has been defined now wrv again they created object and they are calling this test method so wrv equal to test and that is test this test method we have like object so obj dot i is 20 so this test method will have a 20 so if we'll go from test method so line number six six so we have a w w1 so w1 will be 20 and then again what they are doing w w2 equal to new w so w dot i equal to w w2 dot i equal to w1 dot i so w1 dot y was 20 so w2 dot i also should be the 20 and here we are what we are doing return w2 so this w2 and then rv dot i so if you run this rv dot i rv dot i equal to 20 we'll go for the next program of x so x program have int i and static void test तुम अभी नहीं छुना कपड़ा अपना सहित नहीं कर पा दी क्योंकि अच्छा नहीं लगा मच्छर मच्छर नहीं तू अपने जाए ना रेडी के करने आपने जाए सुन ना पापा कम में हम आपने या हम ये वो फिश कर वो तू वो फिश पापा के लिए ज़्यादा नहीं लिए सुन ना
हाँ हाँ दे मुझे अब भोज खाने गए पप्पा भोज खाने तो क्या रोटी बनाए कि चावल पता नहीं कम में बनाओ इतना बनाओ कम चावल हाँ। है समझ है रोटी है खा लीजिए हम्म तो इसे कम में लो मछली भी हाय हाय करके नहीं लेना जितना खाओगे उतना है हम भी एक ही पीस खाएंगे तो उसको बोलो चार पीस पप्पा के लिए तोरल है भी दो पीस और दो तीन पीस ले ले बस हो गया खा पी के खत्म करेंगे सुबह पाँच बजे जाना है जाओ जाओ हम पी के सोएंगे नेक्स्ट प्रोग्राम इज दिस क्लास आई एक्स सो वी हैव अ नॉन स्टैटिक वेरिएबल एंड स्टैटिक स्टैटिक मेथड सो इनसाइड दिस स्टैटिक मेथड व्हाट वी आर डूइंग वी हैव अ दिस टू आर्गुमेंट इज देयर वन इज अ सिंगल आर्गुमेंट अदर इज मल्टीपल आर्गुमेंट so this two argument is there so this is a static method and return have this is void type so no return type and then two argument one is obj1 and obj2 so we'll see later this test method first compiler will go for this main method so main method have x x equal to new x and others have x2 equal to new x means they have some comma here means the class name is x and based on the x1 reference they created new x means one object as a x1 and then comma means x x2 equal to new x means in the single comma instead of two time x they make it one time x and then create a comma here so we have a two object created one is x1 equal to new x another is x2 equal to new x so x1 dot i has reinitialized with 10 and x2 dot i is reinitialized with 20 now what we are doing here we are calling test method so test method is there but have a two argument so only test method will call once the two argument will be available yeah so in line number 19 test two argument is there x1 and x2 x1 means object type of 1 and x2 means object type of 2 so this one and this two will be called this test method only so because of two argument is there and here also we are passing two argument so in x1 value is 10 and x2 value is 20 in line number 18 so the same obj value will be re-initialized with 10 and obj value will be 20 j2 value will be 20 now what we are doing inside that int i equal to obj one dot i means obj one dot i means obj was a 10 and obj one dot i means 10 and here obj one dot i equal to obj two dot i means whatever this two so obj two dot i equal to 20 so now obj two dot i is 20 now here obj2 dot i equal to i so the i is here this is integer type of i so int i equal to obj1 dot i so obj1 dot i means 10 and here obj1 dot i equal to obj2 dot i so obj2 dot i equal to 20 now here obj2 dot i equal to i means obj2 dot i means i equal to 10 so this is look like a swapping uh, programming is happening so once you will run this program you will get why this is not what x1 dot i is one dot i equal to 20 and x2 dot i equal to 10 so this is a swapping of program because whatever the x1 value has swapped with x2 and x2 value has swapped with x1 how this swapping has worked because here test have x1 and x2 so x1 is 10 and x2 is 20 
so that's 10 as printed here obj1 and obj20 is 20 now what we are doing this o int i equal to obj1 dot i means 10 now again obj1 dot i means obj2 dot i 2 dot i means 20 and then obj2 dot i means i means i is obj10 so the output is what we are printing ob here obj1 obj1 means x x1 dot i x1 dot i so x1 dot i was 20 right because obj2 dot i was 20 here so obj1 is x1 this is we have like x1 this is we have like x1 so x1 dot i is 20 now obj2 dot i so obj2 dot i means i value so this i value is obj1 dot i so 1 dot i was 10 so this 10 has initialized here so obj2 dot i means this is a this one so this one is a x2 so this x2 dot i equal to 10 so this concept can have this one can have a swapping so swapping means the first value will be assigned in the second value and second value will be assigned in the third value and third value can have a first value like this so swapping will happen by using third variable and swapping will happen without third variable so most of this uh, interviewer also will ask write a create a program or business logic which will have a swapping concept either by using third variable or without third variable so this is the section 3 app 1 has completed now we will go for this app 2 so can we confirm can you confirm can by, we start this one now these all as constructor now so non-static instance static object creations and all completed class object what is class what is object how we are creating object what is a static variable what is non-static what is a static method non-static method a static block non-static block what is argument what all are the argument will be there how we will call this what is methods this all has completed now we will go for this constructor so in this constructor so can we start now this continue this now we can start on Monday, Amaji. Okay. Monday. Okay. Then Monday we will consider this constructor's uh, concept. So I am requesting everyone to complete all those things like whatever we discuss. Till now we covered uh, 4 to 5 section I think. Uh, section app 1, app 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8 we completed till now we completed these 8 section can you revise so that once you revise these all sections then uh, only you will be able to understand next sections and all so these all are interlinked with each other and all are related for concept of java so once you will uh, once you will understand these all concept of java then you can write any type of program you can write any uh, business logic so we will cover uh, section 10 till section 10 we will have a multiple uh, scenarios program so right now we are in section 3 app 2 so this app 2 will co cover all the uh, constructor constructor will have a parameterized constructor non parameterized constructor this or super keyword and all so we will continue uh, Monday this one section 3 app 2 before that you can uh, Saturday Sunday you can uh, complete this all whatever till now we cover from app section 1 to section 3 app 2 you have recorded video or recording sessions just you can go through that and revise all this hardly it takes 3 to 4 hours to revise this all Okay, then we will consider uh, this 
मंडे थैंक यू ऑल विल क्लोज हेयर थैंक यू